続いて白鵬北斗富士こんにちは、and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. It's day 14 of the July tournament. And what a competition we have in Nagoya! First, here is the tournament leaderboard after 13 days of action. The Rikishi in first place is Maegashira rank and fighter Hokuto Fuji. He is the sole leader with a record of 11 wins and 2 losses. Three wrestlers, Ho Sho Ryu, Nishikigi, and Haku Oho trail Hokuto Fuji at just one of the pace, each with 10 wins and 3 losses. Now, There is a possibility for Hokuto Fuji to clinch his first title here on day 14. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion. We begin today with a match that has huge implications on the championship race. It's Hokuto Fuji who is in first place at 11 2 versus. The 19 year old top division rookie Haku Oho, who is breathing down Hokuto Fuji's neck at 10 3. For the two lock up in Hidari Yotsu, left hand inside, right hand outside, chest to chest position. Power versus power. What a match between the 19 year old rookie sensation. Haku Oho and the 31 year old veteran Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji perhaps wants to gain the outside grip with the right hand, but he cannot get it because Haku Oho is showing a good defense. Haku Oho attacks while left hand is Shitate Nage underarm throw. Hokuto Fuji resists. Hokuto Fuji advances. Hokuto Fuji takes Haku Oho to the edge, but Haku Oho recovers. What a defense shown by Haku Oho again. Again. Hokuto Fuji cannot gain that right hand over arm grip. That could be a winning factor if he can get it, but once again, cannot get it. Hokuto Fuji rallies. Hokuto Fuji advances. Hokuto Fuji goes in for the kill, but Haku Oho has the answer at the edge with the thrust down. Haku Oho wins. Hokuto Fuji loses. What a match! Oh, wait a minute! The five judges are on their feet! Looks like we're going to have a mono in the conference by the judges to talk this match over. The million dollar question is Did Haku Oho remain in the ring while hitting the thrust down at the edge? Here is the verdict by the chief judge. ただいまの競技は白鵬法のかかとが出てるかどうかの確認でした。残っていました。軍配通り白鵬の勝ちといたします。So Haku Oho is the winner. The call by the judges stands, and Haku Oho goes to 11 and 3, and he hands Hokuto Fuji his third defeat. So both are tied at 11 wins and three losses. What a victory by the rookie! Haku Oho! No championship for Hokuto Fuji today! まあものすごくあの憧れの、えー、舞台で今戦っていてあのその中の優勝っていうのはもう自分の中で、えー、一つの夢だしものすごくあの遠い存在なので、まあ、自分は優勝できるレベルではないので、明日た、まあ、対戦相手に勝つ準備をして、最後、戦うだけかなと思っていますありがとうございました。西木木が入ったのは、第14戦で10勝と3勝。彼は、2勝目の勝利を目指して、ハント。
his opponent Gudan is firing on all cylinders with a nine-match winning streak. They meet at the middle of the dojo, left hand inside position. Yuden pulls, Yuden back pedals. Nishikigi goes in. Nishikigi attacks with the arm lock throw, but down goes Nishikigi. Looks like Yuden's Shitatenage under arm throw prevails over Yuden's Kotenage arm lock throw. And the call by the Goji will stay, and Yuden defeats Nishikigi. Yuden goes to 10 and 4. Nishikigi loses for the third consecutive day. Next, here is Ho Shou Ryu at 10 and 3. The Sekiwake badly wants to win his first Empress Cup, and that means he has no margin for error. Wakamoto Haru, who's also a Sekiwake, is at 9 and 4. Wakamoto Haru jumps to his left, but Hosho Ryu reacts and catches Wakamoto Haru's strong Kote Nage on that throw, and down goes Wakamoto Haru. Hosho Ryu prevails. Hosho Ryu defeats Wakamoto Haru, and Hosho Ryu goes to 11 wins and 3 losses. What a reaction by Hosho Ryu. Wakamoto Haru falls to. 9 and 5. So there we have it folks. After 14 days in Maku no Uchi top division, Ho Shou Ryu, Hokuto Fuji and Haku Oho are all tied up, each with 11 wins and 3 losses. What a contest we have in Maku no Uchi the top division and you do not want to miss the day 15 matchups because it's going to be electric on Sunday. Next, here's an update in Juryo, the second tier division. After 13 days, Atami Fuji and Tomokaze are the co-leaders, each with 10 wins and 3 losses. And here's how things played out on day 14. Tomokaze has worked his way back to Juryo by overcoming a severe knee injury. He's also hoping to return to Makuchi soon. He took on Kagayaki, who regularly competes in the top division. Big hit by Kagayaki. Kagayaki advances and Kagayaki smokes Tomokaze. Kagayaki hands Tomokaze his fourth defeat. Tomokaze unable to come through here on day 14. So Kagayaki wins. Tomokaze goes to 10 and 4. This is Atami Fuji. The 20-year-old is aiming to return to the top division with the Juryo title under his belt. He's facing off against Dai Amani. Strong charge by Dai Amani. Dai Amani applies the pressure. He gains an inside position. He marches and Dai Amani has Atami Fuji at bay and Dai Amani forces Atami Fuji back and out. Atami Fuji loses. Atami Fuji goes to 10 and 4. Dai Amani with a picture perfect sumo. So after 14 days in Juryo, there is a three-way tie for first place. And they are Atami Fuji, Dai Amami, and Tomokaze, each with 10 wins and 4 losses. What an exciting competition taking place in Juryo. It's going down to the wire. And that will do it for day 14 of the July tournament. The excitement continues in Nagoya with just one day to go. Please make sure to join us for another edition of Sumo Prime Time tomorrow on day 15. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and sayonara. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, 
Make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.